Hey guys, it's Samuel here from How to FAQ, and today I'm going to be showing you a bit about the postcode API. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you postcodes.io, which is a free postcodes API, and it allows you to validate postcodes in the UK, um, look up autocomplete query postcodes, get information about their region, get a random postcode all these different things that are all very useful. And I'm gonna show you today how you can implement this in Python and a bit more about APIs in general you should learn from this video. Okay, so let's get going. So if you look at this page, I'll put this link in the description, it's postcodes.io. Uh, you can see that it you know, tells you a few different um, bits of information about how to use the API. So it pretty much is just an HTTPS uh, request. So you just take something like this URL, stick it in a browser, for example, and enter a postcode. Like, for example, I just entered a random one, HU88BT. Hit enter, and it returns this sort of JSON response. Now, this JSON response uh, in Python can be loaded using the JSON module into a Python dictionary and you can imagine that you could use that for further processing later. So that's, you can imagine that's gonna be quite useful. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you how you can implement that in Python. And you can imagine that it shouldn't be too difficult. And I don't think it should be. So let's get started. The first things we're gonna need is we're gonna to need to import um, the URL lib module uh, request so we can open up uh, the URLs. We'll just set that as uh, rec, just easier to type and we'll import JSON as well. And I'm gonna define a custom kind of load JSON response function. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you look at all these functions, they're all the same. They always have a status and a, and a result. So we just really want the result, don't we? So I'm just gonna be loading the results um, every time. So it's just gonna take a URL and it's gonna return the, the json.loads and json.loads takes a given string so if I show you python module if you import json and do json.loads it converts a string so for example um, actually we might want to do it like this if I just call this name and this, I don't know, James or something, it converts it into a Python dictionary. That's what this is gonna do. So, we've loaded that. We also wanna do the request at the same time. So we're just gonna do um, rec.url open, opens the URL. And now once we've opened the URL, that will open it, but we actually wanna obtain the data. So we have to do dot .read to obtain the data. So this part, opens the URL, obtains a string, and this outer layer here actually converts it into a dictionary. Okay, so that's lovely. Now let us add a bit more of the code. Let's add a function to validate postcodes, first of all, because that's always useful um, in any type of form, or maybe you just have a list of records you need to validate it for. Let's call it validate postcode enter in a postcode as a parameter, or as an argument actually, and all you're gonna do is set up a URL, and we've set this one up, so let's just, and I'm gonna put these curly brackets here, and you can imagine what I'm gonna do with these curly brackets. These curly brackets can uh, be used as a substitute with the format. So the format allows you to enter in a variable here, or a string or something and replace this. Very useful with string manipulation. So I'm gonna enter in postcode. And I find it just it's just easier than moving stuff around. It gives you more, it makes the code more readable as well. Okay, and this is obviously gonna need an HTTPS whoops, uh, colon forward slash forward slash. And now we're gonna do our load JSON response with the URL return that. Now we should have a validator for as a, a, a postcode validator now. So if we enter in some data, validate uh, postcode, 
let's just think of a random postcode hu8 8 bt so it should do the same and you can see it returns true so that's what it returns at the moment now we could optimize this a bit more so we could make this load json response just load the results and then it just say true so it'd be you know we could scan we could have a massive list of postcodes in a file be loading them checking them and deleting the ones which are invalid or moving to a different file or something like that. So that is the validator. Um, so now let's do another one of them. Let's see what else we've got here. Um, well, let's, just, let's have a go with a random postcode. Now looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? Random postcode. And it gets all the information about the postcode as well. So that's always interesting. So random postcode. Now you don't need any parameters for this uh, or any uh, arguments to pass. Uh, the URL is just this, it looks like. Uh, so you just stick that in as a string, make sure you have the HTTPS thing, otherwise, otherwise it's not going to um, be able to read it, is it? And it doesn't need any other parameters, so we can just return the load JSON response URL. Now this is useful having this function because it just means we're not repeating the same code over and over and over again because that's in this video would pretty much would be wouldn't we okay so when we run that random print random postcode it's gonna get all of the data right so it's gonna get all this data so we might not actually want to have all this data so I'll show you what I mean first of all let's just run this check that's correct looks correct so it's got it's printed out a, post, a random postcode. If we want to obtain that postcode, then what we're going to need to do is get to the key, assign the key, run it, enter, and it prints out the postcode. It prints out a random postcode every time. Now isn't that nice? It's very useful, isn't it? So I don't know why you'd want to, but you know, I, I guess there's some applications where that could be useful. Right. Next thing. We've done random postcodes, what should we do next? What about postcode querying? Um, when you want to query a postcode, um, uh, maybe even, could be like a lookup maybe. Um, here you go, query a postcode. Now, let's just give, they give you a little example page of how you can use it. Query a postcode and you get all the information on the postcode. I'm not exactly sure how that's different to this. Um, let's see. It looks like the postcode, quality one. Um, yeah, not exactly sure how that's different. They pretty much do the same thing. Um, but I think maybe this one you can enter a smaller, yeah. So this one you can enter in a slightly smaller request as well. So it doesn't have to be a full postcode, but Let's just try this one out, shall we? We're just gonna call it query postcode and guess what entering the postcode that we are querying, which makes sense. URL equals, and this time we know we're gonna have the HTTPS. Uh, we're gonna have to add a query there. So the format, uh, and this format obviously is gonna substitute this value here, there, where these curly brackets are. Then we can use our little bit of code we've already written, the load JSON response, and this will load the JSON response from that URL when it's opened. And we can query a postcode now. So let us query the same one that we've been testing out this whole time, this random postcode that probably means nothing, but you know, Seems to be doing the trick. Uh, so, HUA APT, let's run that. Okay, yeah. It seems to be working. It seems to query the postcode. And you, you can see all the different things here. If you're ever having trouble understanding what the query is producing, it's, they've, they display it quite nicely here, but you can also go on things like um, uh, JSON Beautifier. 
and it just makes it look way nicer. Just paste your stuff, process it, and uh, you can see there's a load of issues, but you know, because it's technically not a valid, because technically with um, JSONs they should have double quotes. But anyway, never mind that. You can see quite nicely, it's got a lovely structure. It's very easy to see, collapsible as well. It's very easy to see what's what and which, where, what data you want. So if you want longitude, latitude, you can see you just can grab that, or codes, district numbers, etc. So yeah, pretty nice. Something to mention. Uh, okay, let us carry on. So we've done postcode queries. What next should we do? Um, I noticed that they also have, I mean, if we could carry on doing this all day with all the different things they have, and we could try with other APIs as well. Um, but I did notice they had like an autocomplete, and I thought that was pretty interesting, and thought people would probably find that useful. So this autocomplete, I believe the whole idea is you enter in part of a postcode. So for example, let's say I entered in HU88, and without the BT, it would show me the possibilities. So you can see it's got all the possibilities for A. And if I enter the B, it would show me all the other possibilities. So you've got the 8BB, 8BBQ, and then 8BB, 8BT, which is the real one that I have uh, been testing with. And you've got the HU8, 8BZ. So this is an autocomplete, which you can imagine would be very useful in some sort of testing scenario or engine. So let's get started with that, shall we? So, same procedure, autocomplete. I'm just going to call it get autocomplete uh, postcode or something. You don't have to use the same nomenclature as me. Um, just make sure you keep your nomenclature consistent um, at all times. Okay, so we just curly brackets there because that's where we're going to substitute a value in. And here, HTTPS has to be inserted, obviously. We format here just so we can insert the value of the partial postcode, in essence. And we can just return the load JSON uh, response of a given URL. Then we can do a get autocomplete uh, per postcode of Let's do the same one, just so we have the reference. So we know what we got for this already, so we can just see, you know, partially completed. Let's print that out. It should, it should return a list. And you can see it returns the same list that we had here. So we know everything is working just fine. So yeah, that works pretty well. And you can do this for all the other ones, very similar method. Um, if you want this code, um, it's pretty basic code. I'll, I can stick it up on GitHub, I guess. It's pretty basic code. I, I mean, you don't really need to copy it, but maybe if you did, couldn't be bothered to type it all out, I'll just stick it up on GitHub, just because this is a very easy tool to use. and it's. I think this is a great, a great API because it's free. It uses, um, I think... The Royal Mail has their own kind of, I think they have the Royal Mail PAF or something. They have their own database and you can look it up. It's a database file and they store all the database, all the postcodes and all that stuff. So yeah, very. it's called postcode address file. It stores all the postcodes and they are basically giving you free access to that information. So it's a pretty good deal, you know, free. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you found this video in any way helpful, um, be sure to hit that like button. And if you think you know, you'd know you like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button and you can hit the bell as well if you want more like notifications and that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I've made a lot of other videos on APIs. So I've done the Gmail API a little bit, done SMTP, IMAP, um, I've done other different uh, Google Maps APIs. So if you're interested in any of that at all, um, just check out my channel. I'm sure you'll be able to see those videos and you might find those interesting as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.